Hey there folks, and welcome again to the world of Diablo 2. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about, as you can maybe tell from the uh, right hand side here, key bindings. We're going to be doing this while we're watching some, uh, some gold find runs I was doing just a few minutes ago. Sort of highlighting, uh, as you can see, I use the right mouse button for all my, uh, all my spell castings. You can see kind of how I'm cycling through. And we're going to go over, because I asked some people, uh, in, a, in a community I'm uh, involved with D2-wise about things they wanted to see and the, like the, the main thing people were telling me was key bindings because you know the, the, there's at least a perception that a lot of folks aren't aware or don't use key bindings so what I want to talk about right now is why I use what I use what's on the right hand side here is just me listing out what I have changed from the default and I'm gonna go ahead right now while we're watching the video and explain why if you would if you don't care and you want to jump ahead to how you do it I'll have timestamps down in the description you can check those out so the reason we want to get away from the default uh, function keys f1 f2 f3 f4 etc uh, is twofold reasons. Number one, I'm assuming you're using uh, you're using an actual like standalone keyboard. Things can be a little bit different on a laptop because of the way things are set up. But if you're using a actual, if you're playing on a desktop and you have your own keyboard, if you're ha if you have it set up like properly for typing, using the F keys is stretching your limbs. It's stretching your arm and especially like your shoulder and it's doing weird things to your elbow all of these things are bad right they're just they're bad form they're they they actually physically hurt you and it's less comfortable and if you bring the keyboard too close to you where it's it's comfortable to press the f keys if you ever come down onto the regular keyboard then you're like you're pulling your arm way back and you're getting another awkward angle that again is hurting your shoulder and especially your elbow. So what we want to do is we want to have like as little sort of stress involved as possible. So we're at our normal typing position, right? And we learn to type like you put your fingers on the home row keys. So that's what we're using. We're using the home row keys because it's just it's easier on their hand. It has the added benefit of ASDF is so close to all these other keys and the function keys are way away from everything. So now with, with the function keys you've got like four buttons that are close to each other. You've now got like 12 buttons that are just right here together. Which is great when using something like an assassin that needs a ton of skill points. And so yeah there we go. There's why we want to use keys on the actual keyboard. The reason I use these exact ones are again I like using the home row. These buttons, I know exactly where everything is. The reason I'm using weapon switch on V instead of like some people use G is to me it's just it feels more comfortable to move down and slightly over. If I move over to G, I'm changing the way my entire hand is positioned and that's, that's awkward to me. Whereas for V, I'm just moving my index finger. Feels great. Uh, I have town portal and run walk on F3 and F5. The reason being even though I just had that whole diatribe about not li liking the function keys, is I can move my whole hand up, reach my middle finger up to F3, or my ring finger over, over to F5 without changing my hand positioning. So then I can come back to resting, bring it right back down onto the home row keys. No, no confusion as to where my fingers are. Skill tab, quest tab, character tab, inventory tab, mercenary are all on a line at the top, so I can reach up to T with my index finger from F and I can slide down and I know exactly where I am. If I happen to get confused though, I can bring my middle finger down, feel for the little bump on J, which most keyboards have, and I'll know exactly where my index finger is. Uh, show items on Alt and Spacebar. I used to use just Alt, but um, using your pinky hurts you in two ways. One, your pinky is not really set up to take that kind of stress, that kind of weight, so it just, it hurt, it, not necessarily hurts less, but it gets less tiring. And two, like you normally have like four or five buttons 
that you want to press when you're, you know, four or five different skills you want to cycle through for like a farming character. So having your pinky able to be one of those skills is great. But it gets, again, tiring because you use uh, my thumb, I have to bend my hand weirdly. So I changed to just using spacebar so I don't have to worry about my hand at all. That's just normal typing posture. And boom, it's very, very handy. I think that about covers everything. Oh, one quick um, digression in terms of uh, in terms of run walk. I don't personally um, worry about run walk too terribly much, but it's because I don't PvP or play like tanky characters. If you do either of those things, if you play PvP or you build characters that are like super tanky, like fifteen thousand defense and seventy five percent blocking, you want to walk. Uh, you want to have access to run walk because you want to run in town, but you want to walk when you're out amongst monsters or in PvP because if you're running, your blocking is reduced to a third of what it's norm what it normally is. So your max is 25% instead of 75%. And when you're running, defense doesn't matter because the entire two-hit calculation is completely ignored. So that's why I suggest putting run walk somewhere where you can get to it on your keyboard. I believe that pretty much covers everything I wanted to talk about as far as like the reasoning behind why we want to do this stuff. So I'm going to transition over into um, what's actually going to be live uh, in-game stuff where I show you how to do everything. So yeah, I will see you in like a couple of seconds. Okay, so how exactly do you go about setting up your key bindings, you may ask? Well, first thing you're going to want to do, you don't have to stand in the corner. You, 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 can, you can show your face, meta metaphorically. Uh, you want to hit Escape on the keyboard, bring up the Game menu, go to Options, go to Configure Controls. So everything it says here under Function, you can set up a key bind for, or you can remove the key bind for. Uh, you'll see I've changed things like the character screen, uh, the hireling screen, I believe? Maybe not. We can check that quickly. No, I didn't. See, that's, that's default. Um, and you can always go back to default if you, if you feel like you don't like where you ended up. But uh, just a quick thing to show. On the default, you only have eight skills set up. And, of course, they are all on the function keys, so that's kind of rough. I'm going to cancel through here and come back in. I don't want to screw up my setup. Excuse me. So, skill speed bar. This is uh, something you'll notice. I have nothing set there. Reason being, the skill speed bar is just where you actually set your skills to a hotkey. And I don't need a button to bring that up. I can. I figure I just click on it. It's, you know, here and here. It's where you set up what skill is going to be on each mouse button. So I don't. I don't see the need of having that button. Other things I don't see the need of, the select previous skill and select next skill, I think that's normally on uh, the up mouse and down mouse buttons. I don't want to have that because I don't want to accidentally you know, roll up on my mouse wheel and screw over what skill I'm in the middle of doing, so I, I don't have that. Likewise, watch out if you have a skill on F4 like I do, if you also happen to have uh, alt as your show items or alt set to anything. If you hit F4 while you're holding alt, you will force close Diablo 2, which is a bad thing. You know, uh, the rest of the stuff, just if when you're changing your uh, your your keybinds around, some of it is going to get uh, ch changed around. Uh, you're going to take a button off of one thing and put it on another, so just go through, make sure that everything you do want set is set, and the things that aren't set you don't mind having not set. Also note that you can set a second button for everything, so that's why, you know, like Alt in space, I quite frequently still hit Alt because I have years of, of muscle memory for that, but I, I just keep them both that way, so it's not a problem. Yeah, so let's move on to how do you actually use your keybinds to make a hotkey. So, you can, if you have the skill speed bar set to something, you can press that button. 
or you can just click on each mouse button to bring up that same menu. This is the skill speed bar. These it will bring up every spell that can be put on that mouse button. For the right mouse button, that should be every spell. For the left mouse button, it will be certain ones. And what you can do is any one of them you want, you just mouse over, you hit the key, one of the keys you have set to skills in the keybinds list, in the configure controls list, and it will keybind. See, we've set E to frozen orb, and when we hit E, frozen orb is now selected as our left mouse button. Set it back to normal attack, and if we go back to what I had it as, is E on ice blast on right mouse, again, E will set us to ice blast. You can do this for any skill, and yeah, that is how you go about setting up your keybinds and your hotkeys. Hopefully that is interesting to you, or at least helpful in some way. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Otherwise, thanks for watching, folks, and I hope to see you some other time.